has everything. Bumping in, banging. <laughs> Big Boys Big Neighborhood, boy. beautiful day in the neighborhood, oh, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. All right, Lil Yachty in the neighborhood. Ooh, Welcome to oh, the neighborhood, bro. Hi. He over here chewing on bacon and everything. Right. He's making me hungry. I can't hear myself. Oh, turn, turn it up right there. Yeah. What about now? You got me now? Oh, yeah. I was just dropping some jewels to you, too, brother. You didn't even hear it up. <laughs> Missed you, it you all. Missed. Oh, yeah, is, that, is that pork bacon you eating there, brother? I don't know. Oh, mm. man, Yachty. Are you yeah. serious, man? You done I came think... up in here with some pig? Ooh. I don't know. No, I eat pork. I'm just fucking with you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we, got, we got Yachty in the neighborhood, man. First off, man, new project. You say it's going to be December. Are we still December? Yes. And you're on, you're on point with it? I mean, I haven't started yet. Yeah, so what? that's what you I'm saying. You haven't started it? If you, got, if you know that an album's coming in December, yeah. when do you start on an album that you guarantee when will be here by December? When, when you I can. come off tour. But when, do you, when does Yachty get a chance to? Because it seems like I everything is yet, busy. As soon as I get off tour, I will be free. And how much time do you need to do a, a little Yachty album? Um, probably like three weeks, four months, four weeks. But, it, man, it seems like everybody want to oh. get at you as far as... Time wise, will you be able to shut down for that time and, yeah. and deliver a full album for yeah, us? I'm gonna try to like really shut down everything. Like I probably won't even be on social media. Really though, mm. just locked down. Can you be off social media? I don't know. Right? <laughs> <laughs> hey man, you know what it is, man. At 19, social media is just a whole different life, though. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you got to think every time. I mean, even with me, I'm over here constantly now looking at what's going down. I don't think you could be off, so <coughs> but it, I guess if you commit yourself to it, you would have to be off social media. Well, I'm gonna try to because you know I got a real short time and I'm trying to stay in my deadline. Really, what what do you do on social media besides what we see? Like, like Just talk crazy. Right. <laughs> do you but, have a preference, but, like Instagram versus Snapchat versus Twitter? Um, I I, I kind of adapted to Twitter. Really though, yeah, I have more followers on Instagram though, so I have to cater to that. It, with me, I noticed I slowed down more on Twitter. Like, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Unless I'm just on Instagram yeah. and I send something over. I feel like Twitter's where I get my news. Yeah, Probably I was going to say something. interesting on Twitter. Who, me? I know I need to, I need to switch my game up. <laughs> Do you follow me on Twitter? Mm -hmm. Well, fuck you. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> no, let me tell you. No, my thing is this. I, I, how do I get interesting on Twitter? You got to speak your mind. Man, I don't know if people really want to hear what I got to say. So do, is that where you get it off, though, Yachty? I mean... Kinda, unless it's like a beef. I don't. I don't speak on beefs on Twitter. Really though. Where do you speak on beefs at? Concert. Right. <laughs> hey man, now I gotta ask you about this, and and, and I don't want to jump into this too quick. But when, like, growing well, not growing up, but at one point, you and Soldier Boy, that was a cat that you kind of looked at, like, man, I, I am with Soldier Boy. Growing up. Yeah. Mm. And so when you fast forward, and now you're in a position where you're a little yachty. You got millions of fans. You right. got people that follow you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And now we see a situation between you and Soldier Boy. What does that feel like with somebody that you rocked with and now you, you know, there, there's a so-called beef going on? It's crazy. I idled him. Right. <laughs> but, you know, it just opened, showed me a new light, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I'm so new to this music stuff, so... You know what I'm saying? I would have never in a million years expected something like that to happen. I mean, and if it was, not to be with, you know, that person. But, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. You just got to learn from it. You know what I'm saying? It was a, it was a lesson. learn. Uh, you know, a living lesson for me to learn. To, you know what I'm saying? How, how, I, how I encountered it and how I, um, you know, dealt with the situation. But, you know, it is what it is. You can't. I wasn't sad. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. I was like, at first I was kind of like, like, is this real? Like, why is this going on? But you know what I'm saying? Once it set in, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Now I got to destroy him. Right. How, how does how did that really start, bro? What? How, how does what start? Did, how did how did the so-called beef, how did, how does that really start? So-called beef. Right? Yeah, it, it's, yeah, because you know what I'm saying? Not, it wasn't really a beef. Right. I don't know. I, I, I have a friend. Right. Go ahead now. Speak on who, it. Who didn't want, who he started posting pictures of. Who didn't want the pictures up? She asked me if I could tell him to take it down. I asked him to take it down. And he got upset. Now, and I'm I'm pretty sure y'all have. It. Now, now I'm tripping. I'm looking at. It. And then he took it as a, I think he. I don't know. I don't honestly feel like I don't. Want, I'm probably wrong, but I don't feel like he honestly saw it as a marketing route. But he took it that way mm -hmm. instantly. Like that second from the second he posted the screenshot to how he started tweeting his uh, mixtape every. Five minutes. Mm -hmm. I'm saying his website, his light up shoes. Mm -hmm. Uh, she laughed at that. Go ahead. Um, 
Like, I don't know. It was just, it just, you know, it, it got real evident that it was a marketing scheme for him. You we, we, with you learning so much, man, because everything now, Yachty, is like, you said you, you young in the game and you, you and too, young in life. Everything that you're learning, you kind of learning at, on the job. Yeah, man. So when, when you figure, what have you learned so far? And what do you think, like, man, like, what's around the corner? I didn't get the around the corner one, but right, right, right. But what I I don't really understand that. But what I learned so far, yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't kind of, kind of understand it either <laughs> when, it, when it kind of came out my mouth too. But you Paul. should have played like you uh, understood it and answered it anyway. <laughs> Good so question. you let the OG look yeah. like he's crazy in this one. <laughs> I ain't, see that's one thing about me. I can never act. I've never been like I'm so new in this thing. I'm just my life. I've always been the type of person to never act like something. Like if I don't understand it or if I feel some type of way, I say it exactly how I think about it. And I realize in this game, that's getting, it, it gets me in a lot of trouble sometimes. Mm. Really, though. Do you welcome, not welcome to trouble, but do you just say something like, man, like, I said it, that's the way I felt about it. And sometimes, but you know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm, being young, I'm very mature-minded, and I know when I messed up. You know what I'm right. saying? Or I know when I said something. Like, I've never been a type to, like, no, that's not, no, that's how I feel. No, I'm not, I'm, wrong, I'm not wrong. I'm never wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know when I messed up. Like, you know what I'm saying? I said a couple of things recently that I... That was truly my opinion, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I grew up a different way than other people, and that's just how I was, you know what I'm saying? I came up, but it struck a lot of right. negative vibes, Are and you? I'm a very positive person. Hold on, I, I hear what door you're knocking yeah. on. What would some of those things be, Lil Yachty? It's not nothing to hide out. They asked me uh, if I thought Notorious B.I.G. was rated or overrated. Mm -hmm. And I said overrated, overrated for a simple fact, and let me explain it. Please. I'm 19, you feel me? I was born in 1997. Good year. Oh, go ahead. No. <laughs> <laughs> VIG was already dead, you mm -hmm. feel me? My dad, <clears throat> mother, both, you know what I'm saying, from the South. My mother's from Indiana, but my mom didn't play hip rap music around me. She didn't want me to hear that. My dad, when I was riding around my dad, he played Outkast. You know what I'm saying? T.I., Jeezy. He played Atlanta music. Mm -hmm. and then, And if it wasn't, if that was the rap he was playing, he played a lot of rock. He played Paul McCartney, you know what I'm saying? He played Elton John. He played a lot of Coldplay, Kane, like a bunch of different rock music. So I never heard any California music, ever, mm. ever. I never heard a Dr. Dre album. I never heard, you know what I'm saying? I I shifted towards NWA a little bit on my own because I kind of thought they were cool with the hats and stuff as I started to get into fashion, like the whole black outfits. But I was I had never heard a Biggie, uh, you know, album. So when I first off. When I came into this music industry, I came into it as a shift to not go to college. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I was making music just for fun. My type of music I would like to listen to. You know what I'm saying? So it was never intentionally for a specific crowd. Then when I started making this music, I started getting put in this category. You know what I'm saying? Like this big hip hop, you know what I'm saying, category, you know what I'm saying, that I never put myself in. Right. You know what I'm saying? And so now it's to the point where everybody has all these standards and guidelines. And I'm just like, every time I did an interview this year, damn near I got asked about Biggie mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying I'm like bro I'm not even really I, I don't even classify myself a rapper I can't even see y'all right now <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't even classify myself a rapper you feel me like like I just I'm just having fun enjoying you know what I'm saying enjoying my life and and so I was like you know what I'm saying I feel like he I felt like he was overrated to me because the simple fact that I kept getting asked questions about him you feel me mm -hmm. not his music not his legacy I I, I never you know what I'm saying? A lot of people took it as disrespect, and I never meant to disrespect anybody. Right. You know what I'm saying? I know who the legends are, and I know the legacy that he, you know, upbrung. And I felt like seeing simple old interviews I said before I had never listened to him, so I felt like people took it like, well, you never took the time this and that. You know what I'm saying? You disrespect him. So what I did was, you know what I'm saying, on my free time recently, since that you know interview came out and everybody's been giving me flock, I listened to both of his albums. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I just to just you know what I'm saying, so I couldn't be out there in the wing going saying, I don't listen to this person, I never heard him, you know what I'm saying? But I've never talked down to begin with, but right. you know what I'm saying, people take stuff and twist it. You know what I'm saying? I, I read the facts. Seven most paid hip hop artists sold how many records did I say? Five. No, 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 no. He he only had two albums. Oh, mm -hmm. I thought you were talking no, no like sorry. Yeah, yeah, like seventeen million. I can't remember I got the facts in my phone, but yeah. So you know what I'm saying? Do you feel like like for one, you definitely wasn't around, so you, you didn't see you didn't see the impact. Mm -hmm. You know, that's uh. just like somebody saying, "Oh man, well, such and such with with uh, the Temptations." Now I'm not around and I'm not watching these shows, but also I do know, like, okay, 
I I would have to I respect that. You know what I'm saying? Right. But people, people took my took my opinion as disrespect. That's right. that's when I say when I say I say when I say tweet with you how you feel. I tweet how I feel. Although I never tweeted about it, but when I did that interview, that was how I felt. Mm -hmm. Now if I would have lied and said underrated. You know what I'm saying? You would have still got something. I still right. would have got something for the simple fact of an interview before I said, I don't know no Biggie songs. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, Do you feel like in hip-hop, like, you have to know? Is no. That, is that what you swear, felt was forced on you? I tweet you? that all the time. Right. I tweet, where in hip-hop was there like a guideline book before, you know what I'm saying, that you got to sign on a contract before you come into the game that says, you must know this album, that album, have seen these three hip-hop movies, and... Know all these singles from '96 through 2000, like you know what I'm saying. Like, I, I where is that? I I came out of high school and started posting songs on SoundCloud. You know what I'm saying? And then they blew up. Mm -hmm. And then, and then I started doing shows. Then I signed a label, and now I'm here. You know what I'm saying? I, not nowhere in between last November in my dorm room and this November in my penthouse did somebody say. You gotta know. Hey, you see that stuff? Yeah, I know what you just I, did. That was a little yeah. stunt. That, 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 that was very <laughs> stuntful. Not even stuntful. Anyways, anyways, anyways. No. My bad, my bad, my bad. No, that's your good. But Don't get it twisted. They never said they never said that you had to know these artists and what they did. Although, so, I mean, some people was just hard to not know. Right. Like, I know who the artists are, but I unfortunately haven't had. And since this year's been so crazy for me, I haven't had no time to sit and listen. Mm -hmm. But for what, though? Like, on, on, in all honesty, what. The, like as long as I'm not disrespecting them, what does it have to do with what I'm doing? I'm in a complete different lane. Mm -hmm. You feel at me? a different time. At a different time. Doing let me something ask you this though. Different. Let, let, let me ask you this to see if you if you if you feel anyone on this. If somebody comes in and they it's a a new basketball player, right? Mm -hmm. And then they say Michael Jordan, and then they go, man, Michael Jordan, Kobe, they they overrated. Can you feel where some of that was coming from? No, of course. That's why I said, that's why I just said, I'm one of those kind of guys that's like, I know I'm I man up you. when I'm wrong. I feel you. And that's why I just did a recent interview in uh, San Francisco and I apologize, you know what I'm saying? But I, and I try not to speak too much on it because I gotta, I gotta, I want to talk about it more so in depth in New York where, where, you know what I'm saying? Where's, where all that's originated. I got <laughs> an interview coming up. You know what I'm saying with Ebro, mm -hmm. and I just feel like it's more appropriate. You know what I'm saying? I set up the interview because I'm the type of guy that when I'm when I feel you ain't like running I'm from wrong, it. And you know what I love course. about it too, Yachty, right. is mm -hmm. that you speaking on it. And I get I've been doing interviews before you were alive, and I get people that say, "Oh, don't ask them this, yeah. don't ask her that." You know what I'm saying? I'm like, how do I not? This is the meat of what's going down. I'm not. Right. We're gonna we gonna do this, and then I'm done. You know what I'm saying? But I'm glad you or your people didn't say. Don't bring this up. Yeah, no, nah, I like like you just said. I don't really run from nothing. There's no no point in running. I feel like you know what I'm saying. I know how to handle my situations. Yes, sir. And I know how to speak. So you know what I'm saying. When it comes time to situations like this, I, all I know is the truth. I can't lie. Mm -hmm. And what I I just say what happened. You know what I'm saying. I I feel like I was wrong. I talked to a lot of people. You know what I'm saying. And got a lot of different opinions. And although it was you know what I'm saying, I just want to get the point across that I wasn't trying to. Disrespect nobody. All right. Well, we you know can leave it there, y'all. I like that. Yeah. Big boy's Big neighborhood. Big boy. Hello. <laughs> Lil Boat in the neighborhood, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Lil Yachty, I, I got to question you on one thing, What's man. Problem? They say that you can you eat certain things every day. Like right now, yeah. you're eating a bacon sandwich. Mm -hmm, with jelly. Have you? <laughs> on white toast. Hello. Mm, yeah. You have never, or you don't eat vegetables? I've never had a vegetable. You never in my life. had a vegetable. In my 19 years. So as a kid, they probably gave you something pureed and you didn't have you didn't know. But in your knowing time, you've never had broccoli, mm -mm. cauliflower, mm -mm. celery. Mm -mm. Right? Do you ever do any green juices? Mm -mm. What about I just like started taking multivitamins. <laughs> <laughs> what about so like when you have like chow mein? Like you know, like in chow mein there's like that? Like uh, noodles, like Chinese noodles. I don't eat noodles. Oh. <laughs> so, so what do you eat? Like, if pizza. you know what you want, pizza. Every day. And, but you don't even get mushrooms on your pizza. No, pepperoni. Straight up pepperoni. Mm -hmm. Hey, you mm. know why? Would you be, we should bring because some of these. What, what you mean Would you we be willing to try? Man. I, I, feel, I always you, say. This could be the moment. I always say, I always, no. What? Ugh. We thought about it. <laughs> this could be no, the man. moment. Man. That's like crazy. It look like the tray you get when you don't got money in lunch. Man. Oh, no. 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 If you knew how much this tray costs. <laughs> I'm about to build this to I'm the sure. station. I'm just. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, it would have been cheaper to buy the pizza. Mm -hmm. Now, this right here, man, this is uh, tomatoes. carrots, tomatoes tomato, yep, celery, and this is that uh, like bell, bell pepper. Bell peppers. Well, technically, you've had a tomato before because on pizza, it's tomato sauce. Yeah, but he ain't never really, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. So, which one of these should we go ahead and pop your cherry on? Which, which one? It's quiet, bro. I'm not going to lie. Are you no, serious? No, you got to try it. No, I can't. Why? Only way I say I'd probably start trying to oh my God. food is if I had a beautiful female in my life that just kind of seduced Fed it me. to you? I didn't feed it to him. Why don't you do this? <laughs> put one end in your mouth and put, Yada, you put the other end <laughs> nah, in your mouth. Nah, I got it. It got to be real. And chew it down. It got to be real. chew it down. You make it <laughs> chew it, you got disgusting, it. disgusting, bro. Really, though? No. You can't even I'm look at it. it. I don't want to look at it. What? I'd rather <laughs> look at this, like. It <laughs> smells so delicious and healthy and everything. Can I eat it? It's yeah, good. yeah, we 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 gonna have it. This this is what we gonna do, man. Me and you pick one and we'll have it together. I'm telling you. And then you. in my life, you and then when anybody asks, man, you ate only ate one such and such, you be like, yeah, man, I ate There's it with Big Boy. Time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> then both of us go Come down on. a legacy, and that's something I can tweet out. Just <laughs> <take the> tweet <laughs> out. Come on, do it for the tweet. I, just, I cannot do that. Are you wow. serious? Oh, you know, oh boy. Is that bad? You know what? No, no. Nah, nah. You know what this my is? Uncle table for hours. Well, when nah, you know what this is? I know what this is. Y'all oh. know what this? Oh yeah. I know Damn. what this is. You I know what this is? This is a Trump supporter Trump right supporter. here. Trump, <laughs> yeah. Trump supporter right, right Trump. here. I don't give a damn what you uh -huh. put in the atmosphere when it came to all your tweets and everything. Uh -huh. Trump told people don't eat vegetables. Yep. And you sitting here Tell in my him. studio talking. Oh, man. Mm. He Our, said that? Mm. Nah, he didn't. No. But I was just trying to put a little peer pressure <laughs> on you. But you didn't Aren't fall into it. are tomatoes basically fruit, though? Because they have seeds. Yeah, yeah. So tomatoes that's a are fruit. fruit. But I don't I, even want to I've never had a fruit either. So the closest what? you come is to like apple juice. You lying. I love apple juice. But you oh, you've bitten an apple before. One time. You've never it was had terrible. Oh my god. Ah! Yeah, Jesus Fruit? Christ. Yeah. Literally? <laughs> And Yachty, there is real. And, 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 and you know, there's it's, there's no dares or no way I can entice you because uh -uh. you got your career, you got money. So it's not like I can sit here and say, man, I give you a hundred dollars. You're like, come on, man. Please. Yeah, I need that. You know, I'll give you a hundred dollars to throw it away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, <laughs> you, you didn't hear the penthouse stunt that I did on you guys? You would what? not take one of these, Bo. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. Damn. And no one here has ever seen him eat a vegetable. Never. That one of them girls, though. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's mm. yeah. You know what's gonna happen, man? When you get about 20, 21, you're gonna meet a female, and she's gonna don't be like, it so long. She can be like a vegetable. Oh, that's that's gonna be quick, bro. I'm looking now. Really? When's your birthday? August 23rd. Oh, okay. So we, by the, by January 8th. Yeah. There we go. You know what I'm saying? You're go. gonna meet yourself a female. <laughs> okay. and, and you're gonna be kicking it with her, and y'all gonna be loving each other. Mm -hmm. And she's gonna tell you one day after you already invested, she's gonna right. say, Oh, well, you know, I'm vegan, I'm vegetarian. Uh, and then you're gonna be like, Oh, See, how my, gonna, that's how my dad guy got. See what I'm saying? And I'm, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he got caught by. I'm telling you, man. When you meet the right female, Yachty, I'm sure you're gonna you're gonna drop your guard. As of right you now, you better prepare though. for her right now, homie. Nah, I'm chilling. You know what I'm saying? Hey, dude, he can't even look at it. I know. He's I looking love it. like I put like a bloody tampon up here. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's nasty. Mm -hmm. You know, I shouldn't even say it that no. to my viewers and listeners. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ani. I'm sorry about that. All right, so I'm going to close this down, bro. Please. I'm going to give you one yes, more. Sir, please. Can we just change the subject? <laughs> yeah, all right, yeah. We, we can change the subject, man. Might as well. All right, well, y'all stick around. Y'all radios. You want to, you want to over there? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and put that over there. This dude act like we came out with a tray of crack. Y'all stick around. Y'all radios, big boys Thank neighborhood. <laughs> can you tell us about the relationship with Kanye West and how, you know, from your guys' first meeting to now, what it's developed into? Um, It's not that big, you know? I just... I, I did the. Well, make it know, sound big. Yeah. We need the radio. Well, I can't lie. <laughs> <laughs> I you know. I did the. I, I I had a friend that put me in a uh, fashion show. Um, and so I met him like three or three, four times. Okay. I did another shoot for him, and then we, you know, um, was in the studio before, and um, oh, he's busy. Just like <laughs> he's busy. You know, catch when you can. He's nice though. <laughs> hey man, so will it be more modeling now? Her Nautica's about to start a line mm -hmm. with you. And yeah, I, I hope so. That's crazy. I'm trying to do everything. What is everything? Do you see acting as well? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Acting, modeling. My mom's coming out with a children's book. Yeah, man. So uh -huh. I, I know that they went online trying to find an illustrator. Mm -hmm. Did y'all find one? We got a lot. You know, we just skimming it down trying to get the best one. We got a lot of illustrations. Do you know the do you know what the title and all that is yet? Well, it's a it's a children's series book about me as a child. Like it's about it's about 
It's like every book is about to be about like something going on in the world, but as in like children's form, like it. But it's basically gonna be about my life. You know what? Hold on, man. I know this may sound tacky, but just give me thirty seconds and just look at me. Thirty seconds okay. and just look at me. Here we go. Do, 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 mm-hmm. do, do, and this is just me rough right now. Do, 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 do. There it is right there. Wow. There it is right there, ladies and gentlemen. That's low-key and, art. And that's just rough. Can you imagine if you gave me the full two minutes that I would have asked for? That's crazy. I'm going to do this, man. Do you want Do you want to take this with you no. and send it? You don't think you can keep it real? <laughs> but... <laughs> But it's art, you know what I'm saying? Right, it's the right. Art you can respect, that, you don't can touch, respect yeah, it. Don't touch art. Don't right, right. Touch. You can respect it for exactly. what it was. But yes. this will not actually be on the children's book no. as one of the top illustratings on uh, there. Do you want to take it with you and get handed to your mom? I and can let her touch look at it. it. You can put it on eBay. You wow. know what I Now you I probably even have you sign it, man, for charity. Yeah. Right, right. Charity. You know what that is, brother. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> No, no, no. I got a great uh, foundation called the uh, Kurt Alexander Foundation. Really? I want one. I'm trying to get one. I'm all right, I'm to... lying to you, man. Since we all keeping it real, Kurt Alexander's my real name. <laughs> I was, was going to smooth sell this and You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> like real walkie talkie, man. I'm really trying to get a foundation together, man. Like, what would it what, what, What's your cause? Yeah. Uh, I don't, you know, I don't really know, but I just want to help. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My, I grew up around my grandmother. My grandmother, all she did was help the homeless and help foundations. And she was, she worked at the ministry and she was, the head of, I hate when I get it wrong, but the head of whatever the people that <laughs> help all the homeless people and Aww, stuff. Oh, that's sweet. And I, like, so yeah. whatever it is, you Got just want to help me. others. Yeah, up. you know what I'm saying? I, I just try to, try to do right. You know hey, Yachty, if it wasn't Lil Yachty that we know and people following you and, and the music and everything, you said you kind of started rhyming just so you wouldn't have to go to college. Right. What would that have been if, if it wasn't this? Like what would I be doing? Yeah, I still be in school, but probably for like film and film and media. Oh, okay. do you do and your broadcast. own videos and everything as well? I don't. I mean, I I do a lot of directing on it. You know what I'm saying? I have a, most of my own ideas once it comes to producing, but I haven't yet necessarily. But that was what I wanted to do. Like, are you on musically? No. Do you see how much you influence musically? Okay. Don't okay me. Like that wasn't the app. You talking about the app when yes. the people when they move real fast? Yes, man. Like my daughter is on mm-hmm. musically. Yeah, my little sister's on there too. And my daughter's eight years of age. Mm-hmm. Oh, she's your your little sister. On my there? little sister's like twelve. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. I'm just saying we're connecting on that. <laughs> no, no, not really. It was, okay. <laughs> it's cool. My bad. That was your sign. That was your time to shine. Yeah, it, it pretty much was, and you just you know dookie it all over that. But <laughs> I ain't tripping. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to go ahead and big up my daughter and everything, man. But you just messed up a whole yachty, you know, Jay musically bad, moment. Jay. I was trying to get right here. You know, my daughter listening right now, and she like, damn, yachty so kind of shit huh? on me. Broccoli. <laughs> broccoli. Uh, Minnesota, like, 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 oh, really, like, really, you know what I'm saying, Ste- man? Yeah. Step your musically game up, man. I love the you. You, <laughs> you probably not even interesting on musically. That's probably why you're not on it. You <laughs> like you saying? on Twitter, but you never know. Stop it! Oh, I did not want to. I did not want to do that. Right, that's all right, brother. That's all right, man. You brought that up. That's all right yourself. because I also see that when we start a little beef, we get a little more uh, popular. So you see exactly <laughs> what I'm doing here. That's what it. You were talking about that maybe a if a beautiful woman fed you vegetables, you would take it. Do you believe in marriage? Of like, course. Yeah. When do you see yourself? I'll getting married? I'm posing my song call one night. Uh huh. When do I see myself getting married? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Late twenties. Late twenties, kids. Yeah. How many kids? Yeah. You talking about when you're Late old? Late twenties, like mid twenties. I'm gonna get kids like mid twenties. I want a son at like or a daughter at like twenty five. Really though, are you having fun being Lil Yachty right now? Yeah, I'm enjoying life. What's going on on the road? Nothing. How are I like that? How are the girls? You lie when it's convenient. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean there are girls, but they're not nobody I'm looking at. Right, right. Just oh, you know, I got my eye on one person. Yeah, man. Just you do. One night in town, break out to be down. Huh? Uh, just hit it off and then send them on their way. Huh? He said he has. A you my mom is probably watching this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yo, come on, man. You're 19 yeah. years of age. You're young. Hit records, hella artists. You know what I'm saying? Your mom got to know you fucking. Oh, oh my goodness! Yeah, she gotta no. know no, 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 every no, 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 every no. time you get off that bus. We was looking at your <laughs> bus from up here. You guys were parked down uh-huh. here, and you came in like twenty minutes late. I told Fuzz, I said, Fuzz, 
give him a grace period because he's in his <laughs> tour bus and he's probably fucking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's crazy. I was actually sleeping. With a female. I ain't mad at you, <laughs> yeah. brother. You know what I'm saying? And you then you're like, oh, man, I got to get on up in here, hang with Unc. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's got to be crazy on the road, man. It's, it's, it's my third time touring in six months, so I'm like overly used to it. Do, you, do, you, do When do you get a chance? What do you do now to relax? Because it's not like you could disappear. If I see you in the airport, I know that's little yacht. I don't do nothing. Best I mean, thing. when I get out to I'm going to sit in my house and play the game for a couple of days to restore my voice. I don't have my voice all the way. And Dennis, I'm sleeping in the studio. It's like grind time. We got locked down. All righty now, Yachty. This is what I want to do with you, man. Okay. Now, um, we know that and we already done got past the whole Tupac, Biggie. Mm -hmm. you, you, you spoke very well on that. What I want to do, you said now you've been kind of looking at videos. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And not that you have to study it, but you're like, you're like man, let me just look at see right. what, what's going down. Because exactly. really, this is an introduction. Right. Mm -hmm. So what I want to do with you right now, man, mm -hmm. is I want to hit you off with just a little bit of knowledge. Okay. All righty. If you know it, you know it. If not, you can take that and then you'll continue to know. Right. All righty. Here we go. This is Lil Yachty, a.k.a. Lil Boat. Lil Boat. Now, the answer is only going to be Tupac or Biggie. Okay. Ooh. Answer will only be Tupac or Biggie. <laughs> All righty. Lil Yachty, who played opposite of Janet Jackson in the film Tupac. Poetic Job? There it is right there. Yay! There it is right there, ladies and gentlemen. He said Tupac. Hold on, let me get my shit together. <laughs> yes, it was right. Tupac. Okay. All righty now. There it is. See, you're on your way. All righty now. Lil Yachty. Here we go. People may know his stage name, but his real name is Christopher Wallace. That's Biggie. That's Biggie. Oh, All righty now. Lil Yachty. This one. One is not a Biggie song. Give me the loot. Holly, if you hear me. One more chance. Which one is not a I'll Biggie song? Me. I've been listening. I, <laughs> give, I, give, me the loop, give me the loop. I think that might be my favorite Biggie song. Go ahead now. He went crazy on that song. Lil Yachty. Which one, Biggie or Tupac, also known as Machiavelli? Tupac. There it is right. right there. Not a Tupac song. Not a Tupac song. Brenda's Got a Baby. Juicy. Two of America's Most Wanted. Mm. What? Uh, can I Brenda's help? got a baby. Can I help him? Can I help him? Not a Tupac song. Brenda's got a baby. Juicy or two of America's most wanted. I'm gonna say juicy. Because I was <laughs> <laughs> good job. That was, Dude, a good that was one of the easiest ones. I, I, I was like, I'm I got this a, one. I, I'm, That's I'm all right, brother. Because now you you're learning. All mm, righty now. Mm. This person good. started off as a roadie and dancer for Digital Underground. What's a roadie? That's somebody that carries like your stuff on stage and you know. Kind of like a stage okay. hand. All right. He started off as a roadie and dancer for Digital Underground, which is another one we probably got to do another test. I'm going to say Tupac. Because for some of that, I think, wasn't Biggie like like rapping in the street? Right. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, also known as Frank White. Biggie or Tupac? I don't know what Frank White is. <laughs> Biggie. Go ahead now. Go ahead. All righty. <laughs> Lil Yachty, who did the song Going Back to Cali? Biggie or Tupac? Cali, Cali. That's Tupac. That's, not. That's Biggie. Oh, yes. All righty. My bad. Biggie or Tupac? Ripped Thug Life. Tupac. It's had it on his stomach, right? All righty. Go ahead. This person passed officially on September 13th, 1996. Man. Biggie? I didn't know. Yeah, Biggie was March 9th. All right, there it is right they there. They both passed 96? You you did a great yeah, you did job. Good. 96, 97. You did a great job on this one right I got here, two, man. I got two wrong. I'm yeah. proud of you. And then from the ones you didn't know, you know now. Yeah. Exactly. All right, and what I'm going to do, man, I'm going to give you this officially. I'm going to sign it. It's not going to be worth anything. <laughs> But please, if you're going to throw it away, make sure that it's outside the building. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> At least let it make the, it to your tour bus. That's the coldest yeah. thing, man. When you hand somebody something that's like right on the oh. ground, like, damn, man. Like, big boy big neighborhood. Boy. All righty. Lil Yachty is in the neighborhood, ladies and gentlemen. Lil Yachty is I'm, in the neighborhood. What's I that, brother? that big boy. That, don't worry yeah, about it, okay. brother. You'll you know what I'm saying? Later. You got so many things in life to achieve. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so many things. The album's coming. The illustrated book is coming. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Trying like, to get into movies. Yeah, trying yeah. to get into movies. Don't beat yourself up because you Mr. Big Boy. You know what I'm saying? You gonna be all right? Look at me, man. Are you gonna be all right? 
I'm trying to. I'm, I'm worried about I'm you. trying to get it. Because like, <laughs> we're in Milwaukee talking now. Now, Yachty, you don't drink or smoke? No, sir. I heard that. I'm 100% brother. sober. What, what's, in, what's on your uh, your writer contract? You know, artists have writers. You, uh, do fruit. you get drinks for the other homies? Mm -mm. All right. Well, they always bring a bottle of Hennessy. Because they my, assume. Yeah. yeah. But I like Fruit Loops with marshmallows. Go ahead now. Fruit snacks, pepperoni pizza, Hawaiian punch, uh, pineapple Fanta. M&M's. Water. To throw. To throw. At yeah, yeah, because you got to do that. You right. know what I'm saying? You got to throw the water Three no matter. Three cases of water to throw. Mm-hmm. Because um, they may be thirsty in the audience right. because of the show. I think that's about it. All fruit, righty. Fruit gu gushers. Fruit that's, gushers, not actual yeah. fruit. Mm, no fruit like tray. No, no, no. Fruit snacks. Fruit snacks. There it yeah. is right there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Artificial mm -hmm. flavor. Yes, yes, um, yes. I think that's about it. I oh, and cinnamon sticks. And Amen. they bring wings too. I don't eat wings though. You don't? Mm -mm. Hold on, hold on, you guys. I got it. Please. Does not eat anything? <laughs> da, 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 da. Let me handle this because y'all y'all shouldn't even say nothing about this. Y'all shouldn't touch this. Brother. <laughs> you try to say y'all. Brother, 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 brother. <laughs> <laughs> Little boat. You ain't eating no wings. I've never had you a chicken wing. You shouldn't even say that. Stop. I gotta cut your ass. I, I I've never had a chicken wing I'm before. Gonna pe pepper spray them. Where are you Say you try to touch it. No no no. Say you try to touch it. No. Pepper spray. I got my uh, pepper spray. Where is hey, my pepper spray. Yadi, you never had a chicken wing? No. <gasps> you know so what good. I'm gonna do, man? And this is no disrespect. I'm reporting your parents. Uh, this ain't you. <laughs> For real. This ain't you, man. You know what I'm saying? Really, Yadi, man. This 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 is your growing up. You know what I'm saying? Like like what was mom? Was she a teacher or something? But no, my mom just eat chicken wings. Okay, yeah, exactly. She just used to buy me a lot of pizza. I love pizza. You never had a chicken wing in your life? No. Jeez. I've never had almost anything. You're just like pizza. Gonna, that's it. I'm going to call down. Do you want fried wings or you want hot wings? Which one you want to try first? Mm. Yada, yada, you never... Brother. I'm okay. You know why I'm okay with it, though? You know, because if him and I were going to hang sister, out... Sister, sister, sister. No, if we are going to hang sister, out, I get Sister, your on mic me. is off. Your mic is off. Please, <laughs> you don't know what I'm doing here. I'm talking to, I'm talking to the brother right now. I'm not, I'm not talking about... Um, lemon pepper with yeah. blue cheese. I'm talking mm. about chicken wings. All right, <laughs> a and, and, and I'm gonna let you get around to what you what you gotta say. Okay, but you never had no chicken wings. No, and you coming out publicly saying this, <laughs> <laughs> and I know that it ain't about always oh, expectation, <laughs> but there's just some things. Take it from me. I want to see you succeed. You know what I'm saying? And eating, I, if I don't eat chicken wings, I won't. Or at least don't say That's it. True. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because I'm going to tell you, very influential. You know what I mean? You don't eat chicken wings. Guess what? My son not going to eat no chicken wings. Mm. My daughter not going to eat no chicken wings. Well, I eat pizza. Yeah, my son eat pizza. I need an endorsement like Every day? Deal. I was going to ask you. Is there you. a certain pizza you like? Yeah, I need, uh, What's your preference? I love all pizza. I heard that. Yeah. You never get chicken on your pizza? Just pepperoni? Mm -hmm. They don't make fried chicken for pizza. It's only baked chicken. Oh, there you go. Assuming that I was talking about fried chicken, brother. I just brother. know my wow. pizza. Oh, wow. Oh. Well, you know what that sound like to me, I, you I'm guys. darkening oh, you. Man, oh, no. I'm not, darkening you. Not right here, you're not. Oh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what that sound like yep. to me, man. Wow. I'm not a Trump, Trump supporter. supporter. I didn't say that. Trump <laughs> you, about to. you said you're a Trump supporter. <laughs> I'm not even eligible to vote yet. <laughs> I just turned mean? 19. What do you mean? At 18, I was... I was uh. Yachty, you about to get yourself into a lot of bullshit right now. Mm -mm. Because we just had an election mm -mm. that was just a few days ago I remember. where you were eligible to vote. No, well look, so can we talk on this now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. I'm not I I've had a lot going on this year. I haven't I've barely been at home able to get registered to vote. I thought you said you voted for Hillary Clinton. No, I have been using my voice to, to tell push people. the youth. Yes, sir. And let them know how serious it is to vote because a lot of the youth thought it took it as a joke. Writing in different Harami. names. Right, right. Because they're going to write your name exactly. in. Exactly. And I was had to enforce how serious it is to take voting 100% serious. Even though I'm not eligible yet, I will definitely be eligible for the next time. But I wasn't. I've been on the road. I just, I had a lot going on. You were on. eligible. You just didn't vote. I was eligible, but I wasn't able to register. Yeah. Right. Well, let me tell you. I know what you're doing here. I'm listening. And let me tell you, homie. You ain't doing no Jedi mind trick on me. Jedi mind trick? Yeah. You're okay. trying to get me off these chicken wings. I mean... <laughs> you trying to go this whole political thing, trying to bring big into the whole Donald Trump mm. situation and all this Hillary Clinton. I know what you're doing. Get a chicken wing uh -huh. and do that tonight. All righty? Uh -huh. Get you a badass female from one of these shows that's coming up. Okay. Get you a chicken wing <laughs> and get you a vegetable tray. Okay. I'm done messing with you. Yachty, we, we going to go ahead and let you get on out of here, man. We want you to, uh, as we do with all of our guests, mm -hmm. um, we want you to close us out in prayer. Okay. Um, if you will. 
Are we for real right now? Yeah. Okay. All right, here we go. Um, I ain't gonna let you do that to yourself, bro. <laughs> but I love that uh, you were down. I love that you. That was that was very uh, respectful. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> that was very. Re- he was like, "Are you serious?" And I was like, "Yeah." He was like, "Okay, well, all right, uh, if we, uh, we could all get us uh, d- drop <sighs> our heads real quick." Uh, yeah, I, that would be a cold if I would have let him go through it. You know what I'm saying? Then that would have been all viral, and they would. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, nah. But thank you for coming into the neighborhood. Thank you. Show you right, Yadi. I'm gonna tell you, man. I appreciate you coming in here, bro. And and like I say, man, like there was absolutely no don't ask hims and you know what I'm saying? And yeah. you and you came in and you spoke extremely well, bro. Before we get on out of here, man, are you a dog or a cat person? Dog. Ah, okay. Well, let me ask you this. If a dog by and this is you, you don't have to, you know, okay. keep it real with me. If a dog and a pie cost had a race. A dog and a what? If a dog and a pie cost had a race. What is that? Who, no, I'm saying if a dog and a pie cost had a race, what who would win? Pie cost? About six dollars. No. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Lil Yachty in the neighborhood. Go ahead now. Go get you one of them pepperoni pies. Hey. All right. It is a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Yachty, I F with you, man. I appreciate you for coming into the neighborhood. Thank you. Lil Boat, Lil Yachty Lil in Boat. the neighborhood. Big boy's Big neighborhood. Boy.